It's a physical game. I feel like I can match anybody's physicality out there. That was intentional. He didn't do it intentional. I didn't know that was intentional. Welcome to Fight Ball, the world's most intense one-on-one basketball competition. It's very difficult to score in fight ball because you got to be able to shoot the ball. You got you to be able to know when to drive, know when to shoot. So you got to play the clock. You literally can't prepare for fight ball, man. Like, you just have to be mentally there. I'm just ready to play whoever's in front of me. And, you know, whatever I got to do to win, that's just what I have to do. I think it's a great event. It's the style of the mesmo. I think you have to have a head, a tranquility. E continuar concentrado. Semifinal one was a battle of the lefties. Andrew Washington versus Tomel Murphy. DC versus NYC. I don't feel nobody can guard me. Period. If I'm in shape and I'm on top of my game, it's a problem. Only person I'm worried about is SpongeBob keeping his emotions in check and focusing on every single game and not looking past nobody. I ain't worried about nobody else. Coney Island to me means progress. It wasn't easy going, coming up. The beach over here, you know, it puts you at peace. When you're working out, you run in the sand. It helps you work on your speed. It helps you work on your endurance. So our community is always rooting for you and we want the best for you. And we know that only the good gonna come out because of the way the, your perseverance and the way you come and you approach life. Now let's get this done. Y'all straight hands, play the way you're supposed to play. All right, going down, SpongeBob. See now, what you gonna do, baby? Uh-oh, score the bucket. Nothing easy, nothing easy, dog. I hope you came for the money. I feel like I can match anybody's physicality out there. It's the same rules for everybody, so it isn't like the refs is calling one way and not the other. You know, it's a, it's a fair game out there, so I just have to play fight ball and not basketball. Bang, bang! Fire one. Bang, bang! Yo, Team L, what you here for? No, can't buy it. Rebound. Fire one. Wow. He is getting it done. That's a one. You got to be in the white in order for it to be two. Team L, turn up. I hope you came for the money. That's three. He shoot a foul shot. Good shot. You down six, huh? What are you going to do? SpongeBob. Wow. You gotta play. You gotta play. I use every little edge I can get to my advantage. Halftime. I seen before the game, he wasn't even warming up. Like he was just sitting down. Like he wasn't even worried about me. And I felt disrespected. It was a physical game. I wasn't physical enough. I was kind of just out there, just floating. And uh, he played a, a really good physical fight ball game. SpongeBob with the rock. Time now, you better lock up. Good move. Right at him. Hold up, somebody get him a jersey. We gotta hang that one up. Oh, yo, a little jersey? All right, yeah. Yeah, he got on half a white Peter. Let's go. One sleeve, no problem. Wow! Do you see that? That's the ice grill in the dictionary. You got two minutes in change, T! Two minutes and ten. I just wasn't that focused on him how I should have. And I kind of just let him win the physical and mental battle. T, you got two minutes, T. Get strong, T. Get back. Fight ball. This is fight ball. You all right, brother? If you not ready to play fight ball, go take up yoga. Oh, listen, my listen, my listen, my that was intentional, my He didn't do it intentional. T-Mail with it. You need a bubba bucket. Not tomorrow, but now. Let's go. I was shooting 35 footers because of the fact that you gotta have some type of strategy and kill some type of clock. I felt like that was a pretty good strategy. Wow! I didn't play the defense I know I could play. And like I said, I kind of let him win the physical and mental game. He went fair and square. You know, he, he took advantage of the rules. And uh, he Four, did what he was supposed to do. Three, two, one! Yo, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for both of these players. The winner of this one, SpongeBob! 
Nah, that was my fault. Yeah, he, he got two cups. He was tired. Don't worry, we get back. I win the big one. Remember that. I win the big one. I'm really excited for that round. I'm pretty pissed off right now. I may not sound pissed off, but I'm pretty pissed off. I didn't play the defense I know I could play. And like I said, I kind of let him win the physical and mental game. I'm going to take that loss and I'm going to just turn it into a positive for me. You know, I'm just ready to play whoever's in front of me. And, you know, whatever I got to do to win, that's just what I have to do. The next semifinal pitted Mike Tewitt and Leandro DeLima. I feel like people might have been sleeping. I woke them up now. You know, I got a big target on my back and people are going to be coming for me. But I just got to stay poised, stay relaxed and play my game. Don't feed into none of the other bullshit that go along. Eu sei que fisicamente eu estou preparado, adequado para o basquete, que eu tenho corrido bastante, dedicado o treinamento mais essa parte física, me alimentado bem, tenho procurado manter o corpo bem fisicamente para poder aguentar o ritmo de jogo. Que... E eu acho que vai ser uma oportunidade de eu mostrar, não só para mim, mas para o mundo inteiro, que aqui no Brasil a gente tem um nível muito bom de basquete, muito forte. Mike Tewitt and Leandro de Lima rounded out the semis in a must-see fashion. Okay, Tewitt, no. Good move. Right at him, Tewitt. Wow. The champ is starting. The champ is starting. Uh-oh. Ain't that a pitch. Hey, that is what you call a bounce. Two minutes and 26 seconds on the clock and counting. The Brazilian piece. Uh oh. Got it! Uh oh. 157 on the clock and counting. Fire. One! So, uh, a gente tem um show different. O jogador contrário. That's the fight ball champ, man! E eu tenho um pouco de dificuldade de marcar é, um jogador muito rápido como ele. Uh oh, Lima! No! Play! Oh! Got it! Got it! Uh oh! Good D to it! Good D! Good D! The no! Four seconds! Four, three, two, one! Half time! You look at the score right now. Mike Tewitt in the lead by four. Tewitt with the right, Tewitt on the move. Tewitt working on him. Oh! Oh! Lima, Lima, the beast. The Brazilian beast. Shot. Uh oh, Lima starting to get back in the game. Three and change on the clock and counting. Mike Tewitt with the rock. Tewitt knocking him down deep. É um jogador realmente completo. Falta um pouco de tamanho para ele, porque senão seria muito difícil defender. He came for the money. Lima, Lima, Lima. Yeah, fight ball. He's very physical. He's a big guy. I'm only 6'2". I don't even know how tall he is. Probably like 6'6", 200 or something pounds. He's very physical. Uh-oh. Cuts the lead. Down three. 137 on the clock. Counting. 137. All right. How many sacks? He gets one shot. One shot. Lima, my boy. Uh-oh, to it. Got it! 52 seconds on the clock. Lima fighting. Lima. Lima fighting. Lima fighting. Michael fighting. Lima fight ball. 19 seconds on the clock. To it with the rock. Uh oh. If Lima hit a two, this could change everything. Six, five, four, three, two, one. He shot the ball, the ball actually went out of bounds. One of my friends that I put on the ticket list hit the ball back in bounds. 
and he just went and made the layup. So when the ball went out of bounds, I felt like it was supposed to just be handed over to me. So I, I completely stopped and they continued to play on. Should have argued it a little more maybe, I don't know. It was just one of those technicalities towards the end of the game where I think the referee should have been a little more focused. Maybe the person that I put on the ticket list should have just held the ball when the ball went out of bounds. All right, they called it. Everybody off the court, off, 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 off. With one tick on the clock, it was time for the unthinkable, the unimaginable. One second on the clock. If the champ hits this bucket, this could change. Everything. Surgiu a oportunidade, eu dei tudo que eu podia e graças a Deus, é, Deus me recompensou. Na sexta caída, eu ganhei um jogo. All the way from Rio! We both play hard, he came back, it should have never been that close, so I just gotta work harder next time. Yeah, I'm most definitely disappointed in being out because I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose no games. I wanted to go into next week undefeated and that's not happening right now, so I'm a little down on myself, but I just gotta learn from this and come back harder. Hey, hey, good job, man. Good job. Good job. Appreciate it, man. I just got revenge. I took an L. I don't wanna lose. I don't like to lose. I wanted to go undefeated in the fight ball for like the remainder of the fight ball from here on out, and it didn't happen. I got one loss, and I'm gonna come back stronger next time. Hey, good job, bro. Hey, 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 hey. Win it. Pergunta a ele se ele fosse jogar, se ele fosse ele fosse jogar com outro adversário, o que ele faria? Ok, se ele for him now in his place, playing against the other guy in the finals, what would you do? Hey, do the same thing you just did. Do the same exact thing, bro. Do the same exact thing. You strong, go to the basket. Next time on This Is Fight Ball. It's time to just put all of it together and just put everything into fight ball and just take advantage of this great opportunity. Na hora do jogo, decidi de acordo com o adversário, porque eu quero muito ganhar. Oh, oh, oh.